name is Michael Reeves. I played the role of Nick Van Horn, son of Big Daddy Van Horn, and uh, it's a good character to play. Uh, my dad in the in the movie's supposedly pretty tough on me, and you can see that I'm trying to kind of fight back and make a name for myself in the way I interact with him. And he's hard on me, and sometimes I look bad in front of the other people, and that hurts my pride. And so I try and rise up and look like a tough guy. And, even though at that point in my life and character I actually am not that kind of guy yet. Well the drought's a big deal and there are people trying to steal water and there are big big money players trying to maneuver around and gain control of the water and really the water is everything. I mean for, especially for the Imperial Valley if there's no water there's no valley. Nobody lives here if there's no water. The reason people live in the Imperial Valley is because the Colorado River almost dead ends here and so with all the sunshine plus the guaranteed water, we can grow crops, and we're one of the biggest uh, suppliers of food in the entire United States. And the water is a big deal. Every time there's a drought, I mean, water's more precious than oil. You don't need oil to live, but you need water to live for food and drink. And uh, honestly, if I could buy stock in something, I'd buy stock in water. But uh, water is a big deal here. I want you to take those two brothers to Antonio's house and just kill those Good morning, Imperial Valley. This is your host, Jose Renteria, and you're listening to KCXQ, the Valley's number one radio station. Weather is hot and sunny. In local news, farmers are having to cut back on their water use to grow crops. Since the Colorado River water line is so low, cities on the coast need to listen to the man from Jalisco. Like he says, the cities, San Diego and Los Angeles, have a whole ocean right in front of them where they can desalinate the ocean water. The Pacific Ocean covers at least one third or more of the earth. It's absolutely insane, folks, why these cities are telling us we have to cut back on the water to grow our crops while they get to keep expanding. They take the Colorado River water that's meant for growing food instead of taking the water from the Pacific Ocean that's right on their front doorstep. It's going to be interesting, folks, when the people who live in the cities on the coast go into the supermarkets one day and find that there's no food on the shelves. Plus, they won't be able to power their electric cars because there will be hardly enough Colorado River water left to supply the energy. If there's no water in the Colorado River, why is the state forcing us to go electric? The river water and its dams power the electricity that would help charge the car batteries. 
If there's no water, there's no electricity. I hope people one day will listen to the man from Jalisco and his common sense and that the cities start desalinating the ocean water that's right in front of them. The Imperial Valley in California need help, folks. In other news, local resident Josh Bailey was honored last week by the state of California senators for contributing to stop gang violence. However, crime is still rising on the streets, folks, thanks to our California representatives and politicians who seem to want to let the criminals go free. What happened to the common sense, peace, and justice that prevailed in this state for a hundred years? Now it's falling apart. For example, what about the kidnapping of the Flores family? Has anyone found them? Let's just pray that they are safe and are found soon. Let's also pray that common sense, peace, and justice prevail in this state of California once again. This is your host, Jose Renteria. Stay tuned. Antonio! Vincenzo. <laughs> you virgencita! <laughs> oh, mano! They know I'm here. They have Angelica and Maria, and they're gonna kill us, Vincenzo. They're going to kill us. We have, we have shotguns. Guns. We, have we have shotguns. Guns. We have shotguns. We have shotguns. You're right. Yes. We have shotguns. We have shotguns. I know a DA, a rush. He can help us. I call him, okay? Let's okay, go. Let's, let's go. go. So, we have the shotguns. You go to the tower, I go to the wall. Okay. Now. And I call the DA rush when they come. Okay, go.
sure you can execution style. Valencio, salga afuera. Yo tengo en tu mano ahorita. Sálganse. Pon tu pistola en el suelo, ahorita. Pasito. Pones tu mano de atrás. <laughs> yeah, we got him. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué miras? Remember when we were kids and they stole your trumpet? Yeah! <laughs> If you need to buy or rent a tractor or need tractor parts, stop by Jordan Central Implement. Since 1955, their sole purpose is to render the highest standard of service to their customers. They recognize that people are their greatest asset and believe that honesty, integrity, and a safe work environment based on teamwork and professionalism are the keys to success. Asagio's Ristorante Italiano in Brawley. Come enjoy our large menu, including pastas, chicken, seafood, veal, steaks, and much, much more. Then relax in our bar lounge and watch the latest sports with a beer, martini, or chamella. Asagio's in Brawley. Six o'clock news is reporting that the nightclub in Mexicali has been raided. No signs of the kidnapped Flores family, nor of local newspaper reporter Kate Tucker. And still, no signs of the Los Hermanos drug cartel. They must have vanished somewhere in Mexico. Reporting to you live, this is John Truman. Hey, Ross. They're not there. I checked Mexico. They're not there.
What do you mean? What do you mean you can find them? Ross, please. Find Maria and Angelica. Ross, please. Find my wife and my daughter. Please, man, I'm going nuts. There's no way. No way. We need to find them. Please. Bye. We need to find my daughter. Find Maria. I saw your picture in the papers with that big fish. But if you want to help us to find a bigger fish, please help us to find our family. I was young when I lost my parents. So I know how that feels. I think I saw people in that Yukon. They were guarding. I think it was your family. That was me with the bag in my head. Can you give me some more information? You see those pelicans flying? They're coming from the river. I see them all the time flying back and forth. They're so busy doing that that they don't have time, actually have time to wait for the fish, but I do. I've been blessed with time. Caught many great fish with this pole. People come by and ask me what in the hell am I sitting out here in the sun for? And I tell them, I'm waiting for the fish. That's all right. You did your end of the bargain, now I'll do mine. No one knows about me, right? Good. So what did you see? I was fishing on the bridge and was about to catch something big. And remember when I told you how I hate, hate it when somebody scares the fish. Well, sure, it happened. Right then and there, it was five o'clock. I saw his face. It was white as a ghost. But I know who he was. He's from a well-known family. That's why I left my name anonymous. I saw guys with guns. The guy that I was talking about came in a Jeep and paid them off. Who is he? I can't let you know that until I know that I'm protected. He'll be protected. This kid's insane. He's not one of the Bailey family, is he? Got him. Josh Bailey, it's him. And I got an eyewitness account. Hey, that was some news. Good stuff right there. Sounds good. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Vicencio, did you get field 32 finished? Yes, sir. Good. Damn it, I'm going to be late. What's wrong? I'm developing a coalition to save the valley's water. That's great news. That's my patron. Yep. Great. Well, I'll talk to you later. We did. <laughs> Julie, you ready? I'm here. Yeah, it's going to be a hard fight and a tough one. 
family and friends will be split up. It's going to be like a civil war, except for the bloodshed, of course. They did the same thing in Owens Valley. Like that old movie, Chinatown. Yeah, if one doesn't want to go through the fight and the rough waters ahead, I don't want them in the group. Okay, let's get back to business. Now, now these companies will sell out even though the district goes through with the water transfer? Well, that's what it looks like. By the end of the year, cities will own the 600,000 acre feet of water that the transfer provides, plus the grand total of water that those companies I mentioned that are involved with Cal Farms. That could be almost half the valley's water. It's like a nightmare. It's a real nightmare and tragedy all mixed in one. Cal Farms, those bastards. I'm going to give Ronnie a piece of my mind. Do it in the letter, Lyle. How are we going to stop the water district from making the transfer? If they vote on it, we'll sue the shit out of them. Put that in the letter. But won't that look bad in our coalition? It's our water. We can fight for it. I'm afraid Lyle's right. We have no choice but to put up a lawsuit. Cal Farms absolutely stand for bullshit. <laughs> say, who told you all this about Cal Farms? Let's just say there's some good friends and some hard workers. seem to be enjoying yourself. Read. I'm going to tell me what the hell's going on. What's up, guys? <laughs> Your father's got a lot of nerve. Why do you tell me he's setting up a coalition? coalition of his wants to sue us big time. I don't know anything about that. Right. Come on, Luna. Let him go read his daddy's letter. Stop your daddy's coalition. We might invite you back to these gatherings. Maybe not. Let the door hit you in the ass. It's all they need. They know that I'm greedy, but only we truly don't need it. I don't live, I don't live. How is that, Mr. Vancouver? That's good. What if we change this around? Oh, well, yeah, sounds better. How is this, Mr. Vancouver? 
Good to see you, Russ. Likewise. Good to see all you guys here, especially you, Antonio. Good to see you too, Joe. And good job on that uh, coalition letter. Thanks. What's in there? Oh, check this out, Mr. Mahal. <clears throat> so this is what Ward was talking about. Yep. His piece is here. Mm -hmm. If Ward actually sold out, it would cost a fortune for me to bring the water to the fields. Why is that, Mr. Mahal? Because, Vincenzo, farmers are always paying the district not only for the water, but also for maintaining the canals. So if all the, so if all the farmers sold out, so if all the farmers sold their land, you'd be in a pretty good fix. We would be paying twice as much as we do now. Say goodbye to the Imperial Valley, my friend. Oh, no. Thank God Ward is not going to sell off. Well, with all these murders going on, who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Murders? Mm-hmm. Look at this, Mr. Rancorn. What is it? A list. A list of all the people who died recently. But Hal Richards died of heart failure. Huh. Huh. Well, it's speculation. We don't really know for sure. But yeah. the fact that he sold his grounds off to Cal Farms right before he died, a little fishy. Oh. Ward could be in deep trouble. Hello Imperial Valley, it's Holly here from the Quick Lane at the Mall. Let's beat the summer heat together. With our new promotion on the AC service, priced only at $159.99. We have three locations ready to serve you here at the Mall, El Centro Motors, and in Brawley. With Brawley also offering our off-road and collision center. If you can't make it to us, we'll come to you with our mobile service vans. So let's beat the summer heat together. And remember, if you don't come see us first, we can't save you any money. It's just that easy.